Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about error handling in flow designers. I have discussed many flows from beginner level to the advanced level, and you can find all of those flows in my description as well as on the top right corner. But we had never discussed error handling in those. So error handling is really an essential part whenever your flow errors out what to do. It should not keep hanging in there and there should be a full proof mechanism to handle those errors like try catch in your code like in JavaScript or in Java. We have something similar here in the flow designers. Also, if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. Let's quickly jump into error handling. So first of all, what is flow error handler? It's a section of code that is executed when an error occurs in the flow. So similar to your try catch code, this is the flow handler which handles the errors whenever an error occurs. So it's basically the catch part of that and it will automatically run when there is an error in the flow. So you don't have to call this separately. It is used to identify and correct issues caused by errors in a flow. Similar to the first point, it will identify what are the errors which occurred and it has a status error code and everything of that particular error. So you can take the actions based on the error as well. Thirdly, they can be used to update the recalls affected by errors in the flow. So for example, if you are updating an incident in the flow or updating a change record and the flow errors out, you can maybe revert those changes which were made by the flow or maybe update in the work notes of that ticket that there is an error in the flow, please contact your admin. So that's the beauty part of the flow error handling. So there are these few components of error handler. So let's quickly jump to service now and see all these components in there itself. I'm in service now and I will create a flow for just a demo purpose. I can say error handling demo and I will submit this. And if you see at the bottom, there is a switch if you switch it on this error handler becomes active and then you would be able to add any action flow logic or subflow into that error handler whenever an error occurs. Second is error handler section. When you will be adding all these actions flow logic or subflow that is called error handler section. The section under this switch is called error handler section and thirdly error status. So if you expand this error handler and go into error status, you would see two components for this. One is the code and one is the message. Code is usually one when the error occurs and if there are no occurs, it will be zero. And the message signifies what was the error. So for example, a record was not found or maybe update was not done successfully and so on. So these are the components of the error handler. One important thing to note is that error handler section has a limit of 10 items which includes any combination of actions flow logic or subflow so you can add only 10 items here in the action there is a workaround for this if you want to add more than 10 lines 20 100 lines and so on so what you can do is you can have a subflow here to handle your error handling in that subflow you can do anything any number of steps it could be 10 20 30 and this will not affect the limitation of 10 steps here. If you want to learn more about subflows in service now, please click on the top right corner. Moving on, these are the three error states which come up when usually an error occurs. The first one is completed and it says error caught. So it is generated when a flow identifies an error and executes all the actions flows or subflows in the error handler section successfully. So if you have defined error handling section and some error occurs and all the steps which you had defined in the error handler section run successfully, the state of that error or maybe the flow would be completed error caught. Then there is this second one completed error skipped. So you get this completed error skipped usually when you are using a custom action and there is an error in there and you ignore that error and the flow still keeps moving on. So that custom action which you have called from your flow errors out. If you want to learn more about custom actions, how to create them, how to use them in your flow, please click on the top right corner and I have explained all these basic concepts in my previous videos. 
The last one is simply an error. It is generated when an error is not identified. So there are two things to this. The first one is simply an error occurs and you haven't defined your error handler section. It will just show that there was an error. That's it. Second is when an error occurs in your error handler section itself. So for example, you have defined your error handler and there is an error in your flow and your code goes to the error handler and there is another error in your error handler section, then you will get this error status. So we will be seeing the completed error code and error in this video and we will be discussing error skipped in the next video because then it will be a too long video and which I will try to release as soon as possible. So let's try to generate first this simply this error where we will intentionally put an error in the flow and we will see what happens. Let's go to service now. So in this demo, we will be using one catalog item which I had created in my previous video called e separation. So if I go to my favorites and I go to maintain items and try to search for e separation catalog item. So this is a custom catalog item which I had created and it has two variables right now, which I will show you in a second. So this is a reference called requested for and then this is a single line text that what is your location and there is a flow which is being called called e separation. So I will remove this with the new one which we are creating. So let me do this. I will add a trigger and I will use service catalog here. Why we are using service catalog here. If you want to check that, please click on the top right corner or please look at all my videos. You will understand that. And after this, I will add an action here where I will pull all the variables from that e separation catalog item. So what I will do is I will search for variables here and get catalog variables and I will drag and drop this requested item here and then it will be asking me which catalog item do you want to use. I will search for e separation and it will show me all the variables which are present in this. So like I showed requested for and what is your location. So we are only using what is your location. So I will just move it on the right side and I will click on done. And after this, I will look up for this record in the location table. So I will click on lookup record and then I will select the table as CMN underscore location, which is out of the box table to store all the locations. I will select this and I will add a condition here. Name is and I will choose that variable. So what is your location? So I just dragged and dropped this name should be equal to what is your location. So which we are asking on the catalog item and I will click done here. And after this, I would want to send an email to the contact of this location that somebody has dropped resignation from your location. So please take further actions on that. So for that again, I will go to actions. I will send email. And then it would ask me for the target record. I will again choose the requested item and then it would ask me for the email ID. For that, I would go to the location record. Then I would go to contact and I will search for the email here. A new separation request has been generated from your location and I would put something similar in the body. So I will just copy and paste this and I will click on done. And now for example, if I go back to my catalog item and you would see this is a free text. So anyone can put any junk data and when we go into flow designer, it will try to compare that junk data with the location in the location table and it would try to find that email of the contact and if it didn't find it will throw an error. Right now if you see there are no steps in the error handler section. So it should give me an error if there is some junk data created in the catalog item. So what I will do is I will save this error handling demo flow and activate this. And after activating, I will go back to my catalog item and go to process engine and under flow, I will change the name of the flow here to error handling demo and I will save this. So now whenever I will be creating a new catalog request, this error will automatically run. Another thing which I would like to do is I will switch on the flow reporting settings here 
and I would be using on here and update. If you want to learn more about flow reporting in flow designer, please click on the top right corner and all the links will be mentioned in the description as well. So I will click on try it in the catalog item and I will put in some junk data which is not a location I'm pretty sure and I will click on order now. I will go to the request and then scroll down and go to the RITM number and if I scroll down and click on flow context it would show me what actually was running in the flow or what actually is the status of the flow. So if you see there is an error which occurred and the error is no record found. So it just simply errored out and nothing ran after this and it in kind of a deadlock state. So nothing will happen in this flow after this. So any user or end user who is waiting for his work to be done, they would not know what's the lat latest status. And the fulfiller who is working on this ticket will also not know what really happened because no email would be fired to them. And this ticket will be stuck in there forever. So there should be a proper error handling section. And whenever there is an error in the flow, it should error out gracefully. So for that, again, we will go to the flow designer. I will switch on this error handler and I will add an action here to handle the error if any error occurs. So what I will do is maybe let's create an incident for the uh, service desk team. So I will click on create record and create an incident and maybe give the few mandatory fields which are out of the box, maybe caller and we can give a system admin and then the short description. And I can say an error occurred in the e separation request and maybe I can give the RITM number as well here. So if I scroll up, I can actually expand this requested item record and search for number. So here I will drag and drop this number. So there will be an incident created with the text as an error occurred in the e separation request hyphen and the number of that RITM number and I will click on done and you might want to update the work notes of that particular RITM because the end user will also know that there was an error occurred and there is some update on the RITM as well. So again, I will go to action and I will search for update record and select this update record and it's asking me for which record you want to update. I will drag and drop RITM and it's asking me which field do you want to update so i will say work notes and i can say an error occurred in the flow designer please contact admin a simple message there that at least they should know that something is going on so i will activate this quickly and as soon as this is activated i will go back to my catalog item i will click back and here I am on my item and I can maybe say here the location as demo and then I will click on order now and a new item would be created again. I will go to this request and I will go to RITM and scroll down and go to my flow context and here you would see instead of error it says completed and error caught. So there was an error on the lookup record again and here it showed as completed error caught and here the error message is no record found. Now if I scroll down you would see there was a, an incident created with this sys id. You would see this incident has been created inc001024 and then the record has also been updated that is the RITM record and the work notes have been updated to an error occurred in the flow designer please contact admin let's quickly see this incident and also the RITM so here in the RITM you would see an error has occurred this message is coming up successfully and I will try to search for the incident as well and here the incident has also been created with the RITM which was just created now to make it more useful for the service desk team we can also add the errors here as well what exactly the errors were so if I go back to my flow designer, if I scroll down in the error status in error handler, you would see code and message. 
now you can add those errors code and error message into the work notes so i will search for work notes here and maybe drag and drop the code first so it is not allowing me to add two fields here <clears throat> so what can i do is i can maybe pick up some other random field and i can say maybe resolution notes and drag and drop the message here so resolution notes will contain the error message so just bear with me for that i will activate this and we would be able to see the error code and the error status as well in this incident so for that we will again create a request i will go back to creating that catalog item request and maybe i can add another demo what is your location i will create a new request i will go to this request go to our item and if i scroll down you would see in the work notes of the ritm that an error occurred in the flow designer please contact the admin so this is running fine so in the flow context i would like to take out the incident number which was just created so for that i will scroll down here i will go to create record and i will search for this number here so i will search 10026 and you would see there is in the short description the ritm number is there so that is fine so in the resolution notes you would see the actual error no record found so this is the error which was caught by the designer and then in the notes in the work notes you would see the error code as one so if you remember i told you whenever there is an error in the flow the code would be one and if it has passed successfully and there was no error it would be zero so everything is working as per expectation and we have covered two scenarios of error handling so the first one is where the error comes up simply that is an error and the second one is where we were able to caught the error successfully so this is the one error caught now we would be looking into third scenario where we will be seeing error skipped through custom actions in the next video so stay tuned with me on my youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe it and don't forget to hit that like button let me know in comments if you have any questions or you need any help i will be happy to help you out thanks for watching the video